Hey folks, I'm here with Stieg and we're going to be talking about Chronoblade. How are you today? Just fine. How are you? I'm fantastic. So walk us through, what is your game? So Chronoblade is a game that we put together a, a very seasoned team from a variety of, of uh, different teams, um, really to put together what we thought was, was just really newly achievable on a mobile platform, which was a, a game that had the, the look and feel of a console game in terms of visual quality, in terms of combat and action, and, uh, and the depth of a PC game in terms of like an RPG backend and a lot of uh, cool systems and depth to explore. Awesome. Can you talk to us about the, the RPG elements of this game? Well, how can you customize your characters in this? Uh, there's, there's a ton of ways. So at, at base, there's four different characters, but each one of them has two skill trees uh, with a lot of skills that you could choose that are really very different uh, between the, the, the trees. And then there's, uh, there's equipment, um, which, which helps you further refine that build. The equipment can then be crafted, and there's also a, a socketing system where you can put gems into that equipment to, to give it uh, still other abilities. Awesome. Now, what what is the story in this uh, in this game? Like, who are we? What are we fighting? What's really going on here? Okay, so uh, so who you play as are heroes that are e actually each from a different reality within the multiverse of Chrono Blade, and these heroes are joined together into a group that's called the Pact, and they're fighting against the Chronarchs, and the Chronarchs are, have been invading different realities and really sort of causing havoc um, with with uh, the realities, and uh, and you know, different realities are bleeding into each other, and lots of things are going on that are causing chaos that you're trying to uh, stem the tide of. Very, very, very interesting. <laughs> so with mobile games, there's usually two currencies. There's the in-game currency and paid currency. What are your two currencies and how do they interact with your game? Okay, so uh, yeah, we have a similar system. We have gold that you can uh, that you can earn uh, generally from just playing through the game, and then we have crystals, which uh, you can also earn, but uh, in more limited ways. So, um, uh, but and you could buy either of those currencies. Uh, but we're 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 focused on making sure that you can play for anything that you can pay for, and not really sort of dividing those up really strictly. Great, that's fantastic to hear as a player. What was it like creating a very heavy action-y RPG for touch controls? So our focus was really, uh, when we prototyped the game, we were playing it with keyboards, we were playing it with controllers, and we were making sure that the, the actual combat action was at the level that we wanted it to be at. And then when we, when we put it onto mobile, we, we just made sure that we kept that look and really focused on making sure that we transferred as much of that, that real tactility of the controller onto the touchscreen so as we possibly could. Awesome. Now, what is the multiplayer in your game? Can you fight people? Can you fight with people? So uh, yeah, right now we have, uh, we're really sort of the only game on mobile that has real-time synchronous multiplayer that really represents a fighting game uh, with all of the combinations, the blocking, the dodging, all of those things that are really uh, very, very twitch control and really require a great deal of fidelity in terms of, of, of the connection. Um, and we're working on a, a co-op mode where you can play with your friends uh, to defeat uh, bigger monsters and challenges and things like that as well. Awesome. Now you were telling me before the interview that uh, your team is stacked with veterans of, of, of the game industry. What made you guys come together and focus on a mobile game? So uh, sort of the, the basic idea of our company is that we, we felt like um, you know, we want people to have access to games from, from anywhere. Um, and mobile is certainly, it's, it's, it's the most convenient. Everybody has a phone. Um, and, and it's just a matter of, of, of looking at it and saying, hey, you know, let's, let's do this. The technology of phones had gotten to such a point that, that we really felt like we could do that successfully. And I think Chrono Blade is a great example of that. Awesome. The game looks fantastic. And when can players finally get their hands on your game? Um, so our US launch is set for early next year. Uh, we'll probably do some kind of beta activity before that, but we're not really confirmed on that yet. Awesome. Well, the game looks fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. And for more content like this, head over to shacknews.com.